Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I hope everybody's having a good day today. Now I wanted to share one of my favorite pieces of scripture with you today. Um, and this comes in Micah chapter 5. Now before I start into it, I just want to say there are some people out there, a very small group, a very small minority that believe that Jesus Christ, his life started in Bethlehem. When he was born onto the earth and that is simply not true of course Jesus was in the beginning with God and he was God so Jesus has always existed he's from everlasting he's from eternity he's the beginning and the ending the Alpha and the Omega first and last and many pieces of scripture confirm that and back that up again and again and again and this one just happens to be one of my favorite ones. Now, I'm here in Micah chapter 5. I'm going to read verse 2. It reads, But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old from everlasting. Now this, of course, is talking about Jesus being born in Bethlehem. And you see there it says, But thou Bethlehem, Ephrata, and Ephrata is another name for Bethlehem. And it says, Though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth. So even though Bethlehem's little out of thousands in Judah... God's using Bethlehem as the place where Jesus is born, which you can look at this as an example of how even us, me, you, we are little among thousands and millions of Christians out there. Yet any one of us, as little as we may be, God could use us too, just like using Bethlehem for the birth of our Savior. But, as you read forth, you clearly see, Jesus did not begin in Bethlehem. He was actually in the beginning with God from everlasting. It says, Yet out of these shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel. This is Jesus. Whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Now, what is everlasting? It's lasting forever. It's eternity. And it says, he's from that. That means he has always existed. He's from eternity. He's from everlasting. He's always been. Like the scriptures say, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is talking about Jesus Christ. He is God and he is with God. You have Father, Son, Holy Ghost. We have a triune God. One God. Those three make up the one God. And Jesus has always existed. He always was and always will be. And this just backs that up more. That is to be ruler in Israel whose goings forth have been from old from everlasting. Jesus Christ certainly did not begin in Bethlehem. He's always been. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that today. You know, um, one of my favorite pieces of scripture in the Bible. I really like that one. And I hope all of you are having a great day. And I hope the weather is as nice where you're at as it is for me right now. I'm going to try to enjoy some of this and get some work done around the house today. Everybody take care. God bless.